Because I did so many loads of mulch yesterday, my body's a little bit sore, so I'm trying to not do as much mulch moving today. So I realized that I need to get something done for the quail instead. So this crib that we converted into a quail house was working really well for us for, I don't know, probably three years that we've been using it. But over the winter, a spot got worn away there and right there and eggs were falling through and we ended up having some predator issues either rat or snake got in and got some of our quail so that means i need to repair these holes and i'm just going to patch them i've got some other wire that's coated wire that i'm going to cut to put in place and just place them over the holes for now then we're gonna move the colony into here. So then our roosters will be with our hens and all of the eggs will be fertile for us to hatch out. right over this section that's bad and I'm going to screw it down to tighten it to the base. Got to shift it a little bit so that it goes all the way in. I hope I didn't do it too long. Oh, that should work. That should work well once I put the screws in. And then this piece I cut the size to fit over this corner where this repair needed to be done. And it's much bigger than we needed, but if part of the floor is already caving in, then other parts of it are probably soon to do so as well. So might as well cover it as much as we can this time. There we go. And uh, life repairs for the future. So we'll go ahead and we'll screw this down to the support boards. Almost completely covered the whole floor, but this is what I had as a scrap piece. So I'm using what I have again. Don't mind me, ladies. I'm just trying to shovel out some of this quail litter before I put my newly repaired quail <laughs> that's not a quail that's a chicken <laughs> these a chickens quail. yeah it is these chickens sure are curious about what we're doing over here silly birds they like all those bugs okay got the lid back together with a new hinge and got all of the ground stapled in everything's cleaned up underneath it just need a food dish a water dish and some quail oh my goodness we have definitely got some activity started already the male that i introduced to these other females has begun his job already you see there he is that white one running around doing his duty with his cubby gonna go ahead and get some ashes this is just from cardboard burning nothing dangerous in here well there's a little bit of string from a feed bag but i'll pull those out a little bit of ash and i'm going to get a little bit of sand from the driveway for them to dust bath in You too? You want to taste? Try it out. It's nummy. Mmm, nummy. Yes, good babies. Hmm. I'm beginning to think that Miss Parsley Ann is bred as well. And possibly further along than truly. Her udder has blown up in just the last couple of days. 
she seems like she is breathing deeper and faster than anybody else out here. Don't know if that's just because she's got a big baby in her belly or because she's getting closer to labor. But I kind of want to say that I remember intentionally breeding her and not marking it down on my calendar. Yay, Rose. <laughs> so, I'll be watching you closely, pretty girl. <laughs> a chicken on a pig. <laughs>